guys. I know it's been a minute since I put a video out. Um, I had to send the old Odyssey off for repair. Something I did. I'm a complete moron when it comes to this stuff. What did I do? Oh, But I've been doing a little bit of research and I've, uh, I think I know what I'm doing now. So today's video is all about uh, adding an SSD to the available slot that comes in um, the Samsung Galaxy Book Odyssey. So one of the main reasons I bought this computer is because, well, one is the, the graphics card. It's got the 3050 Ti, but it has upgradable memory and storage. And I knew I'd be able to hang on to it for quite a while. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't stuck with something that I couldn't, you know, upgrade later on. Well, later on is now. And so uh, I've been wanting to add a little bit more storage. I'm getting more into video and uh, along with, you know, recently getting the full frame camera. That noise behind me, by the way, is my dog stretching out on the floor. But so, you know, with recording video, I need more storage and I'm kind of tired of buying these. I bought these for backups and now they're uh, turning into, you know, my what I edit from so I got to turn the notifications off uh, so today we're gonna add the Samsung 970 Evo SSD NVMe uh, M.2 and uh, yeah let's get into it so uh, the tools I have with me is you okay I got some needle nose pliers. I got a Phillips head screwdriver. I got two actually. This one's for the drone. I think that might be for the screw for the SSD. And then I've got a uh, couple of guitar picks that I'm gonna use to pop the back off. So I've already shut the computer off. And uh, dang, man, look what I just realized. What? So I sent this off for repairs, right? And God, I hate to blast this company like this. <sighs> All right, so, hmm. so last or about a month ago, I bought this SSD, and I was going to put it. I did put it in. I did successfully put it in, and I saw where. Now it's kind of a long story, so hopefully, you know, I don't bore you, but. Uh, if I do bore you, you can jump ahead to the SSD install. So anyway, I put the SSD in about a month ago. And, you know, this has also got upgradable RAM. But I knew that some of it was on board and then there was available slot for some. So I wanted to see, uh, you know, is it two slots that are available? Like, so the max, max memory is 32 gigs. So I didn't know if it had 8 gigs or 16 gigs on board and then it had a slot that I could put 16 or if it was 8 gigs on board and then I had to do, yeah, anyway. So it had a little metal cover and it says uh, disconnect battery before installing memory. I'm like, well, I'm not installing. I'm just looking. Well, when I went to put that little metal cover back on, it shorted on the board and burned it up. I mean, it's still powered on, but it, it wouldn't charge anymore. So, I, you know, it's still under warranty. I go to Samsung's website and I start a repair ticket, right? Okay. And I tell them exactly what I did. I didn't try to lie or say they, they it was their fault. And I told them, you know, 100% what I did. And I had to send it in. So I mail it in with my charger and the computer. And I removed the SSD, oh, because I didn't think I would get it back if I sent it in with it. So I removed the SSD, I mail it off. It was over a holiday weekend, and uh, it, it, took a, it took a while. I mean, all in all, it took about a month, and I finally got it back. So whenever the last video I uploaded, that was about the time that, you know, that was the last video I edited. So I just got it back, and I got it back yesterday. And my charger was missing the, the three-way, the part that plugs into the wall and then plugs into the block. 
So uh, it was missing that part. So I had to rob that from a, one of my lights. And then I just noticed this. They didn't put my little rubber feet back in, man. They got them on the front because you don't have to take the front off. But uh, look, I, I'm, I do a lot of things, you know, as far as work. Like I do construction, finish carpentry, I build furniture. Uh, everything I do, I do it, whether it's for me or whether it's for somebody else. Now, I just, I, I go over everything and I make sure that it's, that it's, there's nothing for anybody to complain about. And I have a very high success rate when it comes to dealing with people and dealing with customers. You know, I wish I could say that about these videos, but I, I do put a lot of heart into them and a lot of, a lot of thought and I try really, really hard, you know, and, uh, I just don't want to give, uh, this sums it up perfectly is I, I under promise and over deliver on everything I do. And to see stuff like this, I mean, I'm sure they are dealing with, you know, a ton of products coming through and it's not Samsung. It's a third party repair company. And um, I'm not going to put them on blast because, I mean, they, I get it, you know, but uh, it just bums me out. So I wonder if the screws are, dude, the screws aren't even in there. I'm not even kidding you. The screws are not even in there. Can y'all see that? They didn't even put the screws back in. So now that I see that, the company is... They are based in New Jersey, and they don't respond to emails. They don't. Uh, they don't put your screws back in, or your little rubber grommet. I hate to blast them out, but that's ridiculous. And they wiped my computer. They weren't supposed to wipe it. They said they weren't going to wipe it, but they wiped it. And they misspelled my name. I guess they had to put my name back in when they sent it back. I've been dealing with misspelled names my whole life, though. I spell it with a Y. Most people spell it with I-E. All right, so I guess I don't need a screwdriver. Let's, uh, so starting at the bag, where's that water coming from, man? All right, well, let's get into it. Sorry for ranting. I'm going to take this purple guitar pick, maybe. Actually, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to, uh, I got it out. I don't know why I haven't put it on yet. And y'all got it. Don't, don't joke on me for looking stupid, but I'm going to take my DJI Osmo and I'm going to put it on my head and we're going to, how do I look? Are like you ready for business? I could probably just pop this off of my hand. Um, also, while I'm popping this off, on my, the video I did about editing with the Galaxy Book Odyssey, I was using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Well, when I had to install it back onto this laptop when I got it back because they wiped it, I went ahead and bought the paid version, DaVinci Resolve Studio. And the reason I did that is because I didn't know this, but on the free version, it... Uh, it relies on your your CPU. It's not using your GPU for editing, for rendering. So basically, I was doing it without a without a graphics card or whatever the built-in graphics card is. I forgot I had this on my head. Sorry, y'all. Dang, this is kind of tricky. There we go. I can't believe they didn't put my screws back in. I mean, am I, am I wrong for being bummed out about that? Okay. Okay. All right. So, with this screw right here, we're going to go in... Maybe with a screwdriver. All right. 
And don't lose that screw because I don't think they're very easy to find a replacement for. All right. And then we're going to take. Dang, I wish I had a flashlight. I do, right here. Okay, so we're going to take, there's a notch right there, and you see the notch right here. We're going to take this, and we're going to slip it in at an angle, just like this. I can't see anything. Oh, here's a light right here. Let's use this one. Okay, yep. Does that help y'all? All right, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it in just like that. All right, at an angle, and then we're gonna push down like that. And then we're gonna take our screw I feel like we use a different screwdriver. All right. Push down. I am not a computer anything. IT, networking, software, hardware, none of that. But I do think that I did that correctly. What do y'all think? But the RAM is uh, upgradable on these computers. And uh, we'll do that on, the, on another video. Them look good that's so crazy how all that stuff works man it just blows my mind all right so i guess we're gonna start with the front first golly i can't believe they didn't put my screws or my feet back in man I think I'm going to have to write Samsung a letter. Not a letter, but an email. That's just absolutely insane. Okay, so here we go. Let's fire it up and see what shit do. All right. This thing is a fingerprint magnet. I'm actually pretty excited. I'd like it even more if it was Windows 10. I'm not a fan of Windows 11. All right, let's see. Fingerprint could not be recognized. Okay, look away. All right, and from what I hear, we'll go to we hit the Windows and the X key. Windows and X. And then we'll go to Disk Management. That's Calibration Studio. You must initialize a disk before logical disk can access it. 
Okay. So this one, the unallocated one, we're going to right click it. Next, I want all of it. So let's say a minimum disk space. Oh, hold on. Uh, Y'all can't see that anyway. What can I do to make that better? Boy, that thing is cooking. Well, we're going to cut this one off. And then maybe Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to use my phone to finish this cuz the GoPro wasn't working very good. All right, so you can see here we got, uh, basically I just uh, hit the, let me see if I can move this. Yep. All right, so this is what came up. So basically it shows my 931.5 gig unallocated. I right clicked that. It said new simple volume. Right? New simple volume. And I hit, I click that, and then it brought me to this. It's saying maximum disk space. So that's pretty much all of it. And I want all of it. So we're going to go next and assign the following drive letter. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess we'll just go with D drive. That's fine. And next. And yeah, for, yeah. Okay, sounds good to me. And then completing and finish. All right, so I basically just added one terabyte of storage to this computer. I love it. And I won't have to keep using my backup drives for this. All right, cool. That should speed things up. All right. Anyway, so that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, man, I know that was kind of like a weird video. I'll try to edit this to make it at least somewhat watchable. I'm not a computer technician by any means, but I did think it would be a good opportunity to show the inside of the Samsung Galaxy Book uh, Odyssey and also show you what you what kind of experience you'll get if you send yours into repair uh, by a third party through Samsung. Man, I really hate to trash them like that, but some things are just unacceptable. Um, yep, so I will be adding more RAM soon, like very, very soon, and I'll do a video on that when that's done. Also, new monitor lg 4k uh color calibrated pretty stoked about that we're going to do a video on that too coming up so if uh if you like tech stuff most of my content is photo related uh i've got a lot of stuff that i recorded while uh, my computer was gone so i just got to get to editing also i want to show the difference between the free version of Resolve and the paid version of Resolve. I really think that that video would probably do well. A lot of people might want to know, is that 300 bucks worth it? I want to know, is that 300 bucks worth it? And I really feel like it is. Um, this is going to be the first video that I edit. Uh, I got some 4K footage from this. This, uh, the, my Canon, I'm shooting in 1080. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was 4K. That was 4K. I'm really curious to see how that's going to do. Um, because playback wasn't, it wasn't great. It wasn't bad, but I mean, I think it's going to be better with the, uh, the GPU acceleration. So, all right. Um, yeah, sorry it's been so, while, so long for a video. 
Sorry, my dog barked in the background of this one. And uh, I thank each and every one of you that watch, man. I really do appreciate it. Like, <laughs> this, I'm up to 78 subscribers. It's growing every day. It might be one a day, two a day. I don't know, but it's gaining. It's growing, man. And I, I love y'all so much for it. I really do appreciate it. I'm nobody special, man. I just really enjoy photos and, and taking pictures. And, and uh, you know, I do. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, man. I love y'all to death, and, and thank you. And, you know, if you found this helpful, please hit the like button. If you want to see uh, me tear up some more things in the future, subscribe. Uh, got some videos coming up on real estate photography. I just booked my second real estate agent. Uh, so we're actually, you know, one of my goals this year was to start getting paid for my photography. And uh, by God, we've done it. Sure have. It's not exactly what I wanted to be doing, but it's still getting paid to use my camera, and that's all that counts. So, you know, a lot of cold calling, a lot of people telling me no, and just push on through. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.